So welcome everyone to today's Into Your Well, I'm Joyce and today I'm going to be sharing on Matthew 16. The title in my Bible is The Cross and Self-Denial. I don't know why but I, I, I seem to think that every time when it comes to the cross I'm sharing. So hmm, maybe the Lord is trying to tell me something about the cross and picking up my cross and denying myself and following Him. But since you're listening to me, so let's just... Um, Let's start. Um, before I begin, um, last week we had this, uh, we had the area mass and as I was preparing the altar, I was um, thinking, should I get flowers? Should I get flowers from the market or can I use my own flowers? Because I don't normally buy flowers, I don't support the flower industry because of all the pollution. And then I thought, um, the Lord deserves something special, some other, some special flowers. Then I was thinking about it and I thought, mm, I think Jesus would like my, I brought them here, my jasmines. So I, these are my jasmines, my homegrown, homegrown uh, jasmines, which I, um, yeah, which I keep, uh, which I grow. Uh, no fertilizers, no pesticides, that kind of thing. So it's very safe for the environment. I'm going to keep them here. Uh, as a reminder, uh, for me, uh, well now why is it that I'm speaking about jasmines here? Um, I'd like to go back to the Word of God. If any man would come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. Let him deny himself, one, take up his cross and follow me. So all these three are important. First thing is denying oneself. So jasmines. Hmm. So um, so I had a choice, right? To either get flowers, I had to buy them. Uh, it looked more exquis exquisite, it looked more extravagant, or to just use my simple uh, jasmines. And I think that Jesus would, Jesus probably would have been really happy with my with my jasmines. As you can see, uh, beautiful smell. And I think it's just us. We are so uh, picky about what we. Um, what we have for ourselves choice between this should I buy this car or that car which one do we choose oh so the first lesson about simplicity about simplicity of lifestyle so I speak to myself as well simplicity of lifestyle but of course it's not just simply hoarding and oh I am saving up and then I use that money for myself it's also sharing our resources sharing it with with those around of us, sharing it with the church. Um, that's that's our house as well. Um, uh, offering masses for the souls in purgatory, for the forgotten souls. So using up my my resources in a in a way which is worthy of as a dis which makes me a worthy disciple of the Lord. So that's that's number one. Number two, picking up my cross. So um, I was um, I was reading about the life of uh, Saint Paul. Now Saint Paul had a really radical transformation. You know, he had this huge face-to-face -face encounter, and that's why he says he qualifies himself as an apostle. Uh, and and after that, it was no turning back. He but his road, and he even promoted the road of suffering because his life was so it was really crazy. You know, beat and dragged on the streets, flogged to flog to die to death kind of thing and but yet he persisted he went on the way of suffering and yet in the book of Philippians he says rejoice in my sufferings so that's where Jesus comes in the, the third element let him deny himself take up his cross and follow me because if I just take up my cross and if I don't follow Jesus I'm going to be this really a sorrowful Christian with this gloomy face. Oh, why are you so sad? Oh no, this problem, that problem, all so many, so many, so many problems. But if it, Jesus is with me, with me, I would be rejoicing because I've got the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, in my heart. So taking up the cross has to be accompanied with Jesus. And I'd like to, so. Uh, come after me let him deny himself so denying myself every single day I think every single day we need to deny ourselves or something but it's so it's so every time uh, just looking looking back at our day doing the examine how did I spend my day how did I spend my time how did I spend my of course giving time also for leisure giving time also for Netflix um, but 
also how much of my time is spent for me, others, and also for the church. Uh, it's to and the exam helps us to to look back, to look back. So Saint Saint Ignatius always told his told his followers, no, the Jesuits. He told them, you do the exam in the afternoon as well as in the night. And if I'm not mistaken, he also told them, even if you, you yeah, yeah, just it's so important because he says that if you don't do, if you don't examine ourselves, we are no better than animals. So doing the examine, looking, making sense of our day is really important. Denying myself, picking up the cross, choosing jasmines instead of um, instead of eggs, flamboyancy. That would be a kind of lifestyle. And I'd like to end with this uh, quote from uh, a prayer uh, of St. Nicholas. He says, My Lord and my God, take from me everything that distances me from you. I don't know if I can make that prayer. But uh, yeah, take away everything that distances me. I'm sure the Lord has many things in mind that he, that in mind for me. Hold on, Lord. Um, my Lord and my God, give me everything that brings me closer to you. So let's just journey on this road with Jesus, um, paying attention to the time we spend with him, the time we spend on spiritual reading, the time we spend on our exam. And, and also, yes, don't forget the jasmines. So have a wonderful, wonderful day, everyone. And um, yeah, God bless.